Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? How are you doing today? I'm really tired. You're really tired. I'd like to have a nap. Hmm. Nap sounds good. Mm -hmm. So we're inside enjoying the nice warm weather now that winter time's here. And what? Winter time's here. We're enjoying the warm weather inside. Okay, maybe I'm tired too. We're enjoying the warmth heat from the stove inside. We create our own weather. <laughs> It's warm in the house. We're in the house. We ain't doing nothing outside. <laughs> um, so while well, we were floating around the house thinking about things and Angie said she was going to clean the house today, I'm like, hey, we have not done a video on this little jewel right here. Yeah. So a little background story on this little jewel. <clears throat> Angie was sweeping the house one day and she was not happy because the floors were not getting as clean as she liked and she does a very good job cleaning the house and she got more and more frustrated as time went on that the ashes on the floor weren't being cleaned up. And because a broom is pretty much useless for those kind of things. Yeah, it just swept and stuff he's, around. And his pet peeve is having dirty floors so I try to maintain that as best I can. And she does a great job. She does. But she was frustrated all the time. Every time I seen her sweeping the floor she was frustrated. She's about ready to throw the broom out. She threw one broom away, and then I picked the broom up and brought it back. And then she threw the broom away again, and I picked it up and brought it back. And then uh, you bought another broom, and it stayed in the house for a while. And then it went outside, and I brought it back in. And the one that you originally threw away that I brought back, you brought back in the house and started using. They're all terrible. And so there was a <laughs> there was a... A conflict with brooms that they were being thrown out and then brought back in and thrown out because I won't throw stuff away. Well, unless it needs to be thrown away. You barely even throw trash away. Sometimes it's hard because I can use that later. How many of you guys can use this stuff later? You can use it later. Well, someday, 10 years from now, we might have a use for that. Move on, please. <laughs> this is about a vacuum, not your hoarding habits. So anyway... Uh, I did some looking, and some of you, I'm sure, have your own platforms and your own preferences, and I'm not saying that one's better than the other, or so on and so forth, but I have always had a DeWalt platform. Uh, all of my batteries and everything, a lot of my tools, no, I've had some cheap construction tools. I've had some, you know, knockoffs you go to the Hong Kong freight and pick up for next to the angle grinders that you know you're going to burn up in a year and throw away anyway, but... Uh, my good stuff, I've always went with DeWalt, and uh, I don't even remember what I was doing. I was not looking for sweepers, um, but I was on the DeWalt website looking for something, and it came up with dust collectors uh, on their menu page, and uh, I got to looking, and I'm like, dust collectors? So, uh, come to find this little jewel here, this is a... Glorified dust buster. <laughs> It's like a dust buster on steroids. Um, uh, this is the DeWalt DCV501H. And I'll leave a link to this in the description below. But this is actually considered a dust collector. Uh, it does have a belt clip, which I'll show you guys this stuff on later. It does have a dust clip that goes on the side to hang on. It comes with a flexible hose to hook up to your tools if you're doing construction work. Um, but... She uses it as a sweeper. Um, well, I guess right here it says HEPA construction hand back. So, uh, but she uses it as a sweeper. And I was kind of, because we had talked about getting a sweeper before. And you talked about getting a, a shark. I've always had shark vacuums in the past. Um, I just feel like the quality is really good. The customer service is excellent. They replace things when they go bad. Um, but when we were looking at Shark products, they didn't really have anything cordless um, that was kind of like what we were looking for size-wise. So, and the price was pretty high in comparison to this. So, And living off-grid, like some of you guys do or, or uh, are thinking about doing, when it comes to cleaning the house, that's something that you got to think about. Uh, with ashes and wood chips and sawdust, you know, for the compost toilet, 
just there's all kinds of messes that can be made every second you turn around because she's always cleaning every second that she turns around because I always make a mess. <laughs> um, but you know, we needed something that was off grid, that was small, that. Uh, yeah, that was of, another re- thing with the shark vacuum is that the size we didn't find one that was going to be easy to store because it didn't break down as small as what this does so yeah your normal shark vacs and stuff like that they've got wall mounts to where people put them in their linen closets and clip them on the wall and hang them up and in a tiny house you really don't have the space to be clipping stuff up on the wall i mean we don't have very many walls. Yeah, we don't have very big walls, and I mean, we don't even have a whole lot of, we don't even have pictures hanging up. Yeah, so, as you guys can see, there's not a whole lot of room in here. So, something small that broke down real fast, uh, easy to clean, is something that she was looking for, and I just happened to run across this, and I don't even think I told you I bought it. Yeah, you did. Oh, I did? You showed it to me on the website. Uh-huh. <clears throat> well, anyway, we got it, brought it home, and we've had it now for... Uh, a few months, probably, few months. at least. I don't even remember when we got it. And we talked about doing a video on it, right, when we first got it, doing unboxing and stuff. We never did, and um, I'm glad that we actually got to use it so we give you guys an honest review on it. Um, I use it very rarely, few and far between. It, it, I don't use it every day. For the big messes... I still use the broom sometimes because it's just hanging by the door and it's easy to get out. But when I'm taking my time and I'm actually doing a cleaning day or something, then I get this out. And we have to have had sun so that I can charge the battery, of course. But Yeah, that was the other thing with the stick vacuums and stuff. They had to be plugged into the wall and uh, to be charged. Or if you got a regular vacuum, it has to be plugged in the wall to even run. So, And we're 100% solar, so we're... Sp- we're energy cautious on what we use and how much we use. Uh, like today, we got a nice, pretty sunny day, so we got the battery sitting over there charging uh, after she used it. So the battery will be charged when it's nice outside. And we're getting to that fall winter uh, weather now, where we got some long stretches of rainy days. And mm. we actually talked about putting in a windmill this coming year. So if that's something you might be interested in, leave us a comment and let us know. Uh, what do you have more do you have to add about this? There's not a whole lot to add without showing what, you know, it comes with and what it does, so. Okay. Well, I'll give you the items to show. Okay. So the battery clips on the back here, it does take 20 or 60 volt batteries, either one. We have both. I use both, just whatever is charged up at the time. So there's 20 volt, you just slide it right in there, it clips in. Now the 60 volt batteries do make it really, really heavy. So you kind of have to hold more down towards the bottom of the handle to balance out the weight if you're using the bigger batteries, but you get used to it. And then it just pops right out real easy. And you want to show a 60 volt battery on there so they can see that also? Sure. This is the nine amp hour, this is the big one. All right, this is the biggest battery we have. And see it, is very well you can't tell that it's heavy but it's heavy <laughs> um, and it looks kind of funny with this big old block hanging off the back of it but it works now how long does the 20 volt battery last you and this one's a little harder to get off too oh i don't know it just depends i can run it for i mean because it takes me but like five seven minutes to sweep the whole house and i can do that two three days in a row before i have to charge the 20 volt back up again so it comes with this, and this is how I turned it into a, a more normal vacuum, but it comes with this long um, hose here, and then this floor attachment for bare floors and like low pile carpet. So then you attach that to the end, and stand up here, and that's how it becomes a normal vacuum, basically. So that's what I use most of the time, is these two attachments together to just sweep the whole house. But we'll show you some of the other things. Also, <coughs> so it has this little attachment, which is for floors also, but it's got the bristles on it. I use this sometimes for the couch. You can attach it to the end of the long hose, or you can attach it directly onto here if you want. Um, this is, we haven't used it for this yet, but this vacuum would also be really good for cleaning out your car. So, and then it has a crevice tool. 
as well, which I have never used this that I can think of yet. It sucks really good. I'm sure I will really at some have point. To get into crevices this much. is more of like a dusting tool, which here, here's a string. I have also not used, but I probably will when I go to dust our open shelving in the kitchen because the boards for the shelves are um, rough cut wood, so it's going to be hard to dust with a rag. So I'll probably put this on the end of the flexible hose and use it to dust the shelves. Yes. So you can use it on here like this. Um, you've got this flexible hose as well that you can put anything on the end of. So this is probably what I'm going to use to dust the shelves when it comes time for that. Um, yeah, but it's, it's not very long or it doesn't look very long like that, but it stretches a good long ways. So again, this would be really handy if you're cleaning out your car too. Or stairs. Yep. Some people use flexible hoses on stairs. Can't get it off there. There we go. And it comes with the clip. Is that, you, is that the belt clip? Or the yeah, belt that's clip? the clip that goes onto the side. So if you use it as a dust collector with the, the hose, you can just clip it onto your belt and leave it on and just have the hose in your hand to and walk around with. with a mesh bag and a little mesh that bag. you can store all the attachments in. But we, I mean, we keep the attachments we don't use in this bag, but we keep everything, excuse me, in a basket under the couch. <clears throat> so it's really convenient. It's out of the way. S said basket under couch. I'm going to go ahead and put it all in there so they can see that it fits. Now this sticks out a little on the top and the long hose sticks out a little too but it still fits under the couch and it's out of the way. So when she was talking about everything breaking down and being able to fit into a small area and not take up a whole lot of room. Yep so we just put it like this and we slide it right under the couch and the height of the couch comes to just above the basket so all you can really see is the front of the basket it makes it nice well, we'll get that off the now once we get a different couch that's more normal i'm sure that that basket will not fit under the couch and i'm going to have to come up with something else or maybe i'll stick it under the bed because we have three of those baskets under the bed right now with other stuff in it too so but it does break down you know really small and it does have the option to hang on the wall as well doesn't it um or maybe not. I don't. Well, if it had the clip on the side of it, you could hang it on the wall or something. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't, it doesn't have an actual wall mount no. hanger, I don't believe. Because it didn't come with anything to hang it on the wall with, I don't think. Anyway. I don't know. Been... I'll leave the link in the description looking at that uh, just to verify. The only thing I don't like, my one and only complaint is the filter inside of the dust cup, um, which we didn't show, but that's okay. Uh, it's not reusable. I mean, we've been reusing it. We've rinsed it out, but you're not really supposed to because it's a, like a type of paper and the shark vacuums all have reusable washable filters. So I appreciate that. So DeWalt, if you ever see this video, you might want to consider something like that. But um, we haven't bought another one yet, but we're probably going to need to soon. Another filter. Yeah, what you can get the filters. <coughs> you can buy just the filter. Um, actually, I'll get it out because... The, it actually, some people may ask how big or what it is you have to buy. But as far as the filter, this piece right here, which is your your seal, you actually turn the filter and it comes off. So this is the only thing that you actually replace. Yeah. And this is just the, the seal and the holder for it. Like I said, we have rinsed this out before and let it dry and reused it, and it's doing okay. So we'll just keep doing that until we can't do it anymore. But Yeah, we do need to order another one just to have in case something happens. But... I do wish it was truly reusable, though. That would be really nice. But they want you to keep buying stuff, I guess. Well, that and it's from, it was built for a construction zone, so by the time they got sawdust and drywall dust and all that stuff in those filters, mm -hmm. they're packs of Titan so solid that most guys just throw them away yeah. and put a new one in and away they go. But that is the DeWalt construction handbag. It's our off-grid sweeper. <laughs> off-grid sweeper. And if you guys have seen in our other videos, I use other DeWalt stuff. We've got our uh, off-grid ceiling fan in the bedroom. 
<laughs> that's a DeWalt construction fan. I have a bad relationship with that fan. <laughs> it has fallen on my head a few times, and that thing is not light. But it has never fallen on me. That's because you don't make the bed or do anything that involves shaking blankets or anything. Mm. Or where you used to have it hanging, if I would change my clothes, lift my arms up to take off or put on something, my hand would hit it and it would come tumbling down on my head. Well, I didn't have that problem. So, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of clothing, we've got our merch out now. Uh, give us a shout on Messenger. Leave us a comment here on YouTube. And uh, if you're wanting to get a hoodie, if you're wanting to get t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, we do have to place an order of 12. Which we do need to place another order so here. So if soon. you do want something and we don't have that at the moment, <clears throat> it may be a little while so that we can, you know, get the 12. That but last order, that last order that we got, man, it only took, what, maybe a week? Yeah, we still have two um, larges and two extra large t-shirts left. So if you're interested. Yep, if you want merch, leave us a comment. Hit us up on Messenger, on Facebook, and we'll get you taken care of as far as that's concerned. We do PayPal. Um, we don't do Venmo. I mean, if you wanted to do a check, we could write you out an invoice for a check. But uh, as far as that's concerned, just about PayPal. Mm -hmm. We like to be legit, and we like for you guys to have a little bit of... Um, Protection. Security and protection as far as that's concerned. Yeah. But I think that's about it. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. All right.
there is one thing that's been on my mind, and there has been some people talking about it. Um, if you're not up on what's happening in your local news, I encourage you to go look at your local news and see what's going on with this tractor supply uh, company stuff that's going on. Uh, I know there's people out there talking about it, but, you know, us having Christian beliefs, you know, we have our own thoughts and our own <coughs> feelings on it, but it's something that you guys might want to open your eyes and take a look at. So I'll leave it at that. I hope you guys check it out for yourself. Yeah. So calling all Christians. The world's getting bad. It is. Very bad. Even when Tractor Supply is doing it. So. All right, guys. We hope to see you next time. Give us a thumbs up. Hit that like and subscribe. And we'll see you then. See you next time. Bye, Bye. everybody.